your specific model produces 50 gallons a day, okay? So that's all you gotta worry about here. Now, we just got it installed. It's gonna be under your sink here, hooked up to your cold water line. The first 24 hours are key. The first 24 hours, this water is going to try to escape outside of the system. That's when we find leaks. Okay, so what do you do if you find a leak here in a couple hours or later on tonight? What I want you to do is, if you see any signs of water, even if it's a couple drops, it doesn't matter. It's just a couple drops. It shouldn't be there. You want to turn off the system first. Okay? How do we do that? So, let me show you. This will all have a shutoff valve that's connected directly to your main water line feed. So this is your cold water feed. And this is going to be the, the line that's feeding your RO system. So if you see a water leak down here, the first thing you want to do is turn this off. Okay. So I'll show you. Go ahead and turn it. Perpendicular. It's perpendicular to where the hose is at, so that shows you that it's off. So if you see a water leak, you're going to turn off the main water feed. And then what I'd recommend is go ahead and close your tank. Okay. Oh, I should run. So you got your main water closed feed. If you have water in here, it's creating pressure, so you want to close it off so it's not pushing pressure and adding to the leak, so that's yeah. the second step. And the third step is to come up here and just release the rest of the water. That was the rest of the water that's going to be releasing pressure. So if you have a water leak down here, now you've turned off your water and you released pressure, so okay. now you're not going to have that water leak. And at this point, you contact us. We'll car see water care service calls are free, so we're going to come and help you out whenever you need help. So okay. you never have to worry about that. So, if you have a water leak, step number one is turn off your cold water feed. Mm -hmm. step, two, step number two is shut down your tank. And step number three is open your water. Those three steps will give us enough time to come out here to prevent any type of water damage here. Because you know water, if you let it sit for a while, it'll start to warp your wood. So that's something you want to keep in mind. And for us, it's the most important thing that you enjoy your water. Well, you know, worry-free and leak-free. Okay.